the most gruesome blood gores of all times. Yeah. This is when they really didn't treat their patients pretty well. But now probably, now if you go to the, probably if you see the asylum, they probably have ways to treat their patients better and try to get them cured for their mental illness or any type of things. And speaking of which, um, speaking of which, before I do this cutscene, because I don't want to interrupt a cutscene like I did before, um, we, uh, one of my dance studio, actually the one in my dance studio is doing a song, actually doing a song that talks about mental illness and helps trying to stop it, like, trying to, like, we are sponsoring people, we're sponsoring this person that is, um, talks about, um, mental illness, which... People who are like bipolar or schizophrenic, and um, sometimes their family members are trying to help them, try to support them as well. But sometimes they can't support it, and it's pretty sad. And this song, th that song kind of does fit with what this represents—a mental illness. It's called, it's called "I Stand," and if you ever hear it, it it pretty much sounds. Um, like, like, a part of it kind of represents mental illness, and you just want to just find the way to get rid of your mental illness, or, um, something like that, and it's really good, um, they really were good, they did good dancing, well, my studio, like, the group, I think, um, part of our dancers for our studio did pretty good at that song, and, yeah, and that's all I want to tell you that, so. Like, I'm not saying, you know, but I'm just saying 
just wanted to tell you this. If it isn't what's her name from the idiot's ward. Yeah, it's Alex. Uncle's prize lunatic. The instant. Uncle's prize oh, lunatic. <laughs> But a hole in the head gives the troubles more spells. Just the thing for your stone of madness. Good for seizures too, maybe. You must be as sick of those as I am hearing you whinge oh. about them. Tweedledee, Tweedledum. I think Tweedledum is the big one. Tweedledee is just a little fat, shorty one. Those are mostly look like that's what she sees, I guess. And then there's the two guys that look exactly like Tweedledee, Tweedledum, and oh my god. Ooh. Well, that has to hurt if it goes right through your skull. Okay, let's continue on. I'm actually wasting a lot of time, but I had to tell you that because... It's because, uh... I just wanted to tell you that, so... Um... There, it's really good. It's like listen to this. I want you to listen to this song, and tell and and you'll see what I'm talking about, and then you'll notice why they picked that song because it it kind of was it kind of matches the part how they dance, what they dance, and what it represents the most. This part, like the song I stand, is represents trying to stop mental illness or trying to help people. So they want it, so it's kind of like you're trying to find the way for, you know, trying to find the way for, uh, trying to like find the light, trying to escape for your mental illness and stuff, I, I guess. Uh. Some mental conditions are relieved by bloodletting. Doctor thinks it won't be effective against your symptoms, but I am at the end of my tether, and these leeches need the work. A baker's dozen, nurse. Let me put them on her. So yeah, that song kind of tries to help people who probably has mental illness, trying to who have mental illness, trying to trying to escape from that. I think that's what it is. I'm pretty sure. And I just realized I didn't know what the fuck it was until I realized I watched it. And it's leeches. And then plus they're falling down. So it's, it's rain and leeches. Just hallelujah. Is that where they poop? Ew. That's nasty. It's probably unsanitary, so that's not good. They're probably, their anuses is probably have a bloody, their probably anuses are bleeding so much and they're pooping blood. Oh. Okay. Why'd you never call me back? I thought you were gonna call me. No, you said you were gonna call me. Oh. You yeah, still I'm... doing it or something? Yeah, sorry. You're still doing the game marker? Actually, I realize I have a memory card that was not been used. I swear, I thought that was the used one, but because I was want to switch because I want to get out of the world, so I only have like an hour or so, but I'm probably using like a few, like actually 10, 20 minutes or so. Oh, no. I'm in an asylum, just to tell you that. Don't interrupt. If I I'm in an asylum. Maddening. Yes, you are. Do what? I'm in the you asylum. You I've nothing for you. In the asylum? Yes. That's where she end up. Just a cock's coat, a gutter coat, a cat, a freelance freelance. What cat? Where? Is the fox among the pigeons? Sly devil. Move out of the hen house then. What, what? Say what, what? In the butt. Hmm. Hey, how come we haven't? Got that yet. How come I haven't got where? Hold on, I'm not talking. Oh. Well, I thought you said you were going to call me. I don't know. I must have... Uh, I thought you were going to call me. Sorry. Sorry. Hey, baby. I forgot. 
That's what, cause I, that's what I thought, but I didn't know you were saying me calling you. What? I didn't know you meant me, I didn't know you meant me calling you. You want me to report? What? Hold on, Tux. Sorry. What is it? How can you see, how can you not see? Is that supposed to be the waiting room? But why is it all blurry and shit? Okay, now it shows it. Okay. Didn't show it before. I was like, what the fuck? She's... I went down like three. She looks... <laughs> She even looks crazy when she's bald and straight jacket. She's like, mm. Come now, this. Am I not to be as much honored and obeyed as the queen? Are you still playing Is the game? Asking too much? Yeah. I want okay. what she wanted. Give yourself over to that. Trade the tentacles for the train. It's altogether a better ride. It's that or back to Rutledge. Never a kind word or reward for service, yeah. says Randall. Don't I deserve a bit of luck? Don't pay so much. Huh? Go huh? to me, I say. What you say? To me? To the asylum right. now. You go back on your own accord. I told your mother, dear. You're a distant and stubborn child, too content in her own world. Young women need to leave their wonderlands. The real world is not so wonderful. They need to grow up. Perhaps some more time in care. Hi. Isn't enough. Hi. It appears to see you. I know you're over an unstable and violent person. Yep. By concept, I can do more. Hell yeah. Asylum again. I should not say that. Stay under supervision. Would serve you right. Shoot, I should not say the N word. I don't say the N word, but. It's Nick. It ain't. You ain't saying Nick. You're saying nigga. It's different. But that makes me feel like I'm racist. I'm not racist, just to tell you that. <laughs> for people, yeah, I know this. Yeah, for black people, I am not racist, but uh, I don't know what just got out of my mouth. <coughs> no, I'm not racist. So. The hell? What? Didn't I really change her hair freaking color black and I can't? The hell? Wait, Danielle dyed her hair black? Yeah. What the fuck? She, wait, they're not letting you dye your hair black? Well, I haven't asked. Oh. Yeah. But she dyes her hair black. Come yeah, on. Yeah, she looks retarded. This guy's like, oh, yeah. Especially with her messed up teeth. Okay, he just points at me creepily. The guy, I don't know, with the something covered his mouth and get away from you. What? Nothing. Just part of the game. <laughs> Talk so loud, nigga. Sorry. I'm just kidding. Okay, enjoy bashing your head on the wall and making yourself bleed. I'm just walking away and Oh shit. Um, where the fuck is the thing? Okay. Wait, wait, what? Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> 